Hey, what's going on, guys? Turty Wurty here, and welcome back to episode 5, I believe, of the Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.17. In this one, we are going to cover something very simple and which I did forget to do uh, earlier in this series, and that is item groups or creative tabs. So, they're extremely simple, so let's just go ahead and get started. So let's go into our main class and in here we can just create a public static class and we can call this tutorial creative tab and that will just extend creative mode tab. Actually, we don't really need that. We can just create, okay, yes, we can create this a field instead. So let's create a public static final creative mode tab. And let's go ahead and call this tutorial underscore tab is equal to a new creative mode tab. And we'll just make sure to use the constructor with a single string. This string right here can just be um, is just the name of your of what it will be in the lang. So generally that will be mod ID um, plus and then whatever the name of the tab is. I'm actually just going to put it as mod ID. Uh, no, I guess I'll do yeah yeah just mod ID because that will end up being. Um, mod id dot item group that's what it will be in the lang um, or in my case it would actually be tutorial mod dot item group so yeah that is that and then we have this make icon method which has uh, come over here and this is uh, essential you have to have this method and this is just for the icon of the height of the creative tab so if you don't want an icon obviously you can just return item stack dot empty but otherwise we can go ahead and return a, a custom item so okay first let's go through vanilla items so let's say you wanted a vanilla item you just use the items class and then dot any of these different items so you know like a uh, chorus plant and that will give you a chorus plant as your creative tab. Uh, but then you also need to do something after that. So you need to write dot get, get blah blah dot get default instance, and that will give you an actual item stack of the item. Um, but we want a custom item, of course. So we can just use item in it dot, and then let's use let's use our spawn egg, shall we? And obviously we need dot get to get the actual item and then just like with vanilla items we need to call dot get default instance and that will return us an item stack obviously if you want you can just construct an item stack but that's there's no point doing that it just makes more sense to get the default instance rather than constructing one so that is it maybe surprisingly enough for you um, we just need to go ahead and add this to the lang and also add all our items to the tab so let's just go add all our items to the tab that's only going to take a second or two so to add our items to the tab in this tab field we can just write tutorial mod dot tutorial tab and we can go and paste that in each of these there we go. And in the previous video, I did a stack 264 here. Uh, I'm just going to remove that because obviously by default, it stacks to 64. Um, yep. Yeah, I also did that on the wrong item, apparently. So, um, yep. Yeah, and then we can just go into the lang. So, source main resources, assets tutorial mod, lang in US and you can just go ahead and do tutorial mod dot 
item group and I'm just going to call this tutorial mod there we go and now we can go ahead and run the game okay so as you can see we are now in the game uh, and here is our item group ah it seems I did get it the wrong way around in the lang though that is perfectly fine we can just go back into the lang and swap it around so it is item group tutorial mod fairly simple change as you can see it contains our three items let's see let's just real quick f3 and t and there we go as you can see that now works perfectly fine so yeah that is it for this tutorial i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please be, be sure to smash your face into that like button and also go ahead and subscribe as well uh, if you really enjoyed please do be sure to share it and yeah i will see you guys in the next video good bye is there something i can do for you i'm looking for a, a girl, a girl. Ah!